Good morning. Rather disappointingly, I've got a problem with my T140 electrical system in the respect that uh, when I measure a battery with no engine running, close to 12 volts, and when I run the engine, I'm less than 10 volts. So that explains why my indicators and the system started to run erratically. Anyway, let's see what we find. So here we can see the voltage of the motor back battery that's been left overnight. And when I apply engine start, there's a drain. I'm actually losing a bulb. So I've removed the side panel to gain access to this horrible multi-plug. I don't like bullet connectors. So uh, I've pushed them both home firm. Let's take a look with the engine running, see if it was simply a bad connection. So that's at two and a half thousand RPM. And you can see she's been well dragged down. Right, what I've now got to do is check my AC output from the rotor stator and check that I'm actually getting AC output. So we'll move the multimeter down by the side of the bike and we'll put her onto AC volts. So I've connected my black and white wire to the two stator outputs and set my multimeter to AC voltage. Here we go, this is AC output, doing barely a thousand RPM here. AC output generation. So what happens now is that the wires go from the AC circuit to a Podtronics unit, a regulator rectifier. I'll show you one of those in a minute. So it's rather a simple device. This is not a Podtronics device, but essentially they're very easy to understand how to wire. So the two yellow wires connect to either or the uh, white um, green and yellow wires coming from the AC circuit, so from the rotor stator. And then this converts the AC sign to direct current. And then simply put, the red goes to the positive of the battery, the black goes to the positive battery, and that, what, that, that is what converts the rotation of the engine with a rotor stator. In my case, it's a Lucas. And... Um, yeah, I could temporarily fit this to my AC circuit and uh, then establish these to my battery to do a quick test to check if the wiring is um, a fault with the Podtronic. These, as you can see, need a good heat sink and um, I bolted it to the underneath of the battery box and on my particular variant of the Triumph, they're a swine to get to. So we need to check the wiring from the AC circuit to the Podtronics uh, yellow wires in this case. And then obviously I'll do a test for the red and black wires uh, from the Podtronics, but it's uh, looking like I've got to get to the battery box and understand uh, what's happening with that Podtronics. Let's take a look at that now. I've noticed as I literally touched this horrible original Triumph multi-block, this literally fell out of the uh, the back. So in my case, with a single phase, the black and white is uh, nugatory, it's not needed, but that's the other wire. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a temporary connection and splice it in rather ugly to check if the source, because nothing else has changed on this bike. We've had the engine out recently. I'm just gonna wire it temporarily. Uh, as you can see there, green with yellow tracer to green to yellow tracer and completely bypass that chocolate block. So that one fell out and that one uh, was deteriorated so badly that it came apart. But uh, the other plug was very, very loose. So I'm rather hoping that this is the root cause of my charging problems. Let's take a look. So the dreaded T140 side panel and air box. It's just taken me 30 minutes to get exposure. What are we looking at here? We're looking at the Triumph loom and the two Protronics outputs um, for the uh, regulator rectifier to do its job. So we can clearly see there that it's white with green tracer and green with yellow tracer 
going into the podtronics there that's yellow. I'm going to tidy all of this up now that I've discovered this mess. And uh, I'm going to do a continuity test uh, down to the uh, AC circuit and then we'll take it from there. But it is my belief that we've discovered the uh, root cause. Let's just check. But to be clear to everybody watching this video, now that I've opened up the side case, I am not going to let these spade connectors and these insulating tape temporary connections uh, live. If we look at some of the acute angles there on the loom, they really do need sorting out. So that's wired for single phase using that extra wire. Let's give it a few revs. We can see there that I've absolutely sorted the problem. However, as you can see there, I've stripped the horrific air box out, but what it has afforded me the opportunity to do is to look at the condition of this loom and many of the connections that are simply woefully worn, tired and using old Triumph bullet connectors that simply won't wash. So for me now, it's going to be a revision of the wiring from the AC circuit up to the Podtronics uh, and the podtronics where it joins my loom and there's some certainly some tidying up that can be done down here I found a loose gray wire so I'll have to look at that on the wiring diagram I just wish Grant Tiller did triumphs as well as Norton's but uh, I do enjoy troubleshooting electrics so we've got to the bottom of it we've used this morning uh, in the bright sunny but cold weather to address my charging problems on my t140 please if you like these videos think about hitting the like button and better still hitting the subscribe button it costs you nothing and i'm sure a few of you using old british bikes and even japanese bikes will find some of my videos useful thanks for watching have a great sunday whatever you get up to ride safe everybody stay warm